Welcome back, Ventura. Uh, Ventura County is the oddest place. We uh, just had the statistics for how many of our high school children are overweight to the point it's endangering their health, it's endangering their future health. And Thousand Oaks is very proud that it's only one out of four. Uh, in Port Wyneme, where it's six out of 10 kids are unhealthy because of what uh, they're eating. And so Paulette Lambert, who's at the California Health and Longevity Institute, uh, came to us and they needed to have an associate with a nonprofit because WellPoint understands this. As an insurance company, they understand they don't want people to lose their kidneys, lose their livers, lose their limbs, have heart attacks, have strokes, and if we can just start early enough, we can prevent this. So every year I take on a, a student to kind of follow what Dr. Landon trail he's blazing now and it's kind of like being in the Ojai parade the after the horses are gone there has to be somebody there to clean up so uh, this year it's been uh, Garen Garza who's now with our, our second year and yes second so year. You, you got to go down to where did they take these uh, wonderful cafeteria ladies with their little hair nuts and where did they go we actually worked with Fillmore and Ventura high schools um, those were our two pilot schools. We took them out to California Health and Longevity Institute to a three-day three boot camp, we called it. In a boot camp, it was um, nutrition information, how to use knives, um, very basic um, kitchen things, how to um, cook with healthy foods. I think they also had zero refrigerators where their refrigerator <laughs> might be duct taped up and Korean counters and Kim Kardashian's personal <laughs> chef. I mean, it was quite the thing at the Four Seasons Hotel. They had their Four Seasons aprons on. and Chef hats. Their little chef stuff. hats. And <laughs> so what, what kinds of things did they learn? Because uh, they started that project uh, with the uh, same high school that uh, uh, Joe Montana sent his kid to. And, uh, and those kids go to Westlake. And they want that tall food. They want that Tuscany food. And, and so how, what happened Our there? aim was to kind of teach these um, cafeteria ladies how to work with ingredients that are fresh and do homemade meals. So, you know, your mom and dad's grandma's risotto, or, um, lasagna or, you know, any kind of salad that's freshly made with fresh bell peppers and tomatoes and all that good stuff that you would find in your kitchen, not necessarily like the fast foods and stuff like that. So we were really focusing on homemade um, stuff, you know, your favorite restaurant, what's your favorite entree that we could bring to the schools um, in a healthy, lean way. Because yeah, I know Tyson Foods, I, I was afraid they're going to blow up my car because now the, the manager of the cafeteria, instead of going, oh, yes, we'll have the chicken McNuggets <laughs> and that uh, uh, defrost that uh, cheese sandwich from Iowa that they fly in wrapped in plastic and <laughs> uh, those French fries and that pizza. And we were giving such bad messages to our kids right. in schools with that kind of food. Uh, what, what, what kinds of problems though, did they have? Uh, do they have enough staff to do this? Who ends up chopping up these vegetables that haven't been chopped up before? So originally when we went out to both schools, we kind of did a survey of the staff and um, what they were using as their food products and things like that. And Paulette kind of went through and worked with the staff and kind of, you know, assigning them jobs. You are going to be the prep chef. You are going to be the griller or, you know, whoever... Um, needed a job, we put them to work in a sense. So everybody, it's kind of a uniform um, idea that everybody's going to help out. So, um, you know, it, well, we we bought what do it, when I go by Woods Ranch, mm -hmm. they pump that beautiful smoke. I'm yeah. sitting there going, I'm hungry. I'm waiting for a stoplight. Why am I hungry? <laughs> and so, what what did we get for Fillmore High School? We bought Ventura? them a grill. Actually, a grill. so the smell of so it's fresh cooking food. outside and. Uh, you know, all those boys love their hamburgers, so <laughs> we're doing um, kind of whole wheat buns and turkey burgers and kind of stuff like that with some fresh fruit on the side or a salad to really complement those, um, get that smell going for you as well. So, so good looking food, mm -hmm. freshly prepared. Yes. In our schools. Yeah. And uh, of course, they have what ten or twelve dollars to spend at every meal for this, the food ingredients. I'm not sure on the I think the it's $2.74, yeah, something like, cents, that. Something like yeah. that, and we got an extra $0.07 cents raise so that we could bring another bit of fruit to the table. So right. here we are in Ventura County 
with raising all the food for the United States, and finally we're, maybe we're going to get a chance to, to see some. Well, yeah. how, how did the kids feel? We did a, a before and after study. Right. We, had, we were uh, delighted to have Dr. David Cannell <laughs> uh, fly out from back east. He'd been at Harvard and helped start the food pyramid, and he's been delighted to focus his attention on little Ventura County. It's like our little laboratory here. Uh, and so he designed a survey. What kind of questions were on that survey? Questions, kind of, you know, food preferences. Most of the two schools we worked with, most are on free or reduced um, school lunch meals. So most of them were eating at schools and that, at school, and that's what we wanted to focus on. So these questions had to do, you know, your preference of food, what you think of the food that was currently in the school before we started this program, um, your kitchen staff, and. Um, how, you, how much you enjoyed lunch, basically. And we actually saw a tremendous result with Fillmore School. A lot of the surveys that came back to us after we were done just complimented, you know, the lean, the healthy foods, which is kind of funny to hear from a high schooler because you don't expect that. But um, we saw a lot. We loved, you know, the healthy foods that came in, a lot more fruits and vegetables, a lot more salads. Um, the meatball sub was the greatest hit. It's just a homemade marinara sauce. We took something simple and made it excellent rather than serving it straight from the can, which is what they were doing before. So, so, so we really went from, as I remember the survey was, mm -hmm. we love the cafeteria ladies, they're so wonderful, we mm -hmm. hate the food. We love the cafeteria, we hate the food. It's pretty, oh, universal down there. There's yes. teenager stories, interesting. Sometimes the yeah. things they write in. Uh, and then it became, we love the food, we still love the cafeteria yes. ladies. Mm -hmm. Did they work on changing the cafeteria itself? Because part of it, when you go into a restaurant, they've right. redecorated the restaurant. I think you work at the French, French Bulldog. Bulldog. And they've, you know, <laughs> yes. they've redone their restaurant and the, right. the menu's changed. But yep. to have that happen in high school. Yeah, we actually bought them a food menu board. So before they get into school, they're going to see what their school lunch is going to be for the day. All their options are going to be listed um, on a mini monitor right above um, the cafeteria door and it has nutritionist messages that are going to be on there pictures of all the food that's going to be offered for the day so it's kind of like mini advertising you know feed your body good things and good grades will come or you know better um, athleticism and growing taller what you know whatever the children are aspiring for so well Garen thank you so much for working with the schools for coming out today to really let everybody know Ventura we are it's from the field to the table, includes the cafeteria. It's, it's the best message we can give our kids. Ventura, get out there and get moving. <laughs>